For our folk show poster, I'll now show you how to draw the wood underneath our campfire. I'm using a Wacom Intuos Pro tablet, size medium, and I'm working in Adobe Illustrator. First off, make sure you're working with the layer underneath your campfire layer. And just pick up one of those small brushes and a light yellow and draw the outline of your first log. What we're going to do is not fill in our logs, they'll just be outlined. Doing this will create a nice contrast between our two illustrative elements, the colorful filled in fire and these nice line art only pieces of wood. There I just flip my pen over and I use the eraser to erase sections of that first log so that we can draw this second one over the top. Draw your outline, add in the wood detailing. Our pressure sensitivity really helps here because we can get a lot of line variation out of subtle movements with the pen. We're going to draw three logs here. For the last one, just follow the exact same steps as we did with the first two, keeping it nice and simple. So now I'm going to erase the sections of the wood right below the flame. This should help define the boundary between our two elements well. And then just use your eraser to make sure there's no stray lines anywhere and to finesse any parts of the wood that you think might need a bit of care. So now I'm going to uh, zoom out using the touch inputs on the tablet just to check my work and in the context of the entire composition, which is a really important thing to do whenever you're drawing an illustration that's part of a design. So now I'm going to add some uh, logs into the background. I'm using a darker yellow so there's a little bit of contrast. And I'll use that same yellow to draw up some highlights along uh, the top of our logs. It should look like a light shining down from the flame onto the wood. And now I'm going to swap out to a light blue from the swatches panel. And we'll use this to sort of create the feeling of a shadow along the underside of the logs. And once again, because it's always really important to do, I'm going to zoom out just to uh, check my work. And then I'm going to just zoom back in. So the illustration doesn't feel quite as balanced as it should. So what I'm going to do is use the lighter blue to add in some more logs to the background to even out the composition, keeping it super simple. And if one of those logs doesn't look quite right, so I can just flip my pen over and erase it, just as if I was drawing with a, a traditional pencil. When you're erasing an Illustrator, it's important that any layers you don't want to affect, such as the fire layer, are locked. Illustrator doesn't pay attention to which layer you're working on when you erase, so you'll erase everything that isn't locked. Now I've taken one of our bigger pressure sensitive brushes and black, and I'm using it to draw out some shadows underneath the campfire. I'm just roughing out the shapes and then flipping my pen over and using the eraser to carve out the shapes. The eraser will use the exact same pressure sensitive brush as the brush tool, so it will behave in the same way as the pen's nib with all pressure sensitivity and whatever settings you have set for that brush. And there we go, all done.